Al from EGW here. Today I'm going to be showing you how to install one of our EGW magwells on a Springfield Prodigy. It's a pretty quick and easy process. I'll show you how. Just like working on any firearm, we're going to check to make sure that the firearm is unloaded before doing any work to it. We're all clear here. So we're going to pick up the firearm and you can see on this one there's the little dimple on the one side of the mainspring housing pin. So that's the side that we're going to be pressing or using our punch on to press it going through the frame here. And we have one of our EGW Magwell Ready mainspring housings on this one. The factory mainspring housing, uh, if you're using that and you don't have one of ours on here, it'll work just the same and the Magwell fits perfectly with the factory mainspring housing as well. If you're looking at the side of the frame here, we have two grooves, one on each side, and that's what we're going to be lining our Magwell up with. So grab the EGW Magwell and we're going to slide it on, make sure you have the grooves lined up, push it in from the back side, and it's going to go on real quick and easily like that. And then we're going to take our pin, make sure that these holes are lined up with the pin in there. So give a look, make sure it's lined up. And we're going to take our supplied pin and we're going to pop it in this hole and we're going to start to tap it on down through. So the old pin's out, and we're just going to use our punch here to tap this in the rest of the way. And there you have it. That's how quick, easy, and simple it is to install an EGW Magwell on a Springfield Prodigy. And now look how cool your gun looks. And you can just slap mags in there all day long, and you're set and ready to roll. Some of you may have some questions, and it's been brought up before. The first run of Magwells that we did you had to do a little bit of minor fitting and modification to the base pad on your magazines from the factory. Since that first run, we've changed and updated the magwell, so you don't have to worry about that anymore. So any of the current run magwells that you're purchasing, there's no fitment required. You can just take your factory magazine and do some tack reloads all day long without any fitting or modification like that. And what's really cool about these as well is that they're fully machined from solid at a 6061 aluminum, so it's just another really good quality EGW part. Thanks again for joining us on this video and checking out our really cool parts that we have for the Springfield Prodigy. Make sure that you subscribe so you can stay up to date on all the cool projects that we're working on. If you have any questions, don't forget to comment below, like, and subscribe. Stay blessed.